Okay, folks, so I finally have figured out the routing part, which that's a whole bunch of tech jargon, but up here on the mixer, I had to route so that I had the local stuff going with it. And I do that for the mixer at the church, but I brought this home so I can figure out how to do it and finally got it. And so here's what we have. So this is what you're going to have on your mixer for your in-ears. The side is A and there's a side B. And these big knobs here are your main headphone output volume. So this in-ear right here in my hand represents what will be in your ear. It's plugged in right here in A. And so that's what the person who is going to be working with monitor A will use. You will see there are 12 buttons down here at the bottom. Now these can be grouped to be anything. So we're going to right now show you how to do that just because in case you want to be able to adjust what you're hearing. I'm going to first show you how to do it and then tell you what we'll have at GMZ. So let's say this is channel one and the, ref the reflector as well from one to 12, one to 12, all right? So, and you always want to make certain that if your signal is going through good, this Cat5 cable is going through good, you'll see this green in. Because they're going to be daisy chained together, daisy chaining meaning that I'll plug in one and it can connect to the next one and power that, you should see a green through. So it'll be red if it's not working, but plugged in, black if it's nothing plugged in, green if it's working. So you want to make sure that's going right. So now you're looking at one, and we're going to assign and edit the input channels. So let's select one. And when you first select it, you're gonna see group level one. And this is for the person A's pan. Panning meaning when you wanna hear in your left ear or your right ear. And you know, you can obviously move it down to move it up when you wanna make something on the left side or something on your right side. For the most part, we're gonna leave it in the center right now. And for the levels, you can come down here to group level and we'll turn that all the way down on both sides. All right, so that's how you can control what you're getting out of channel one. So let's say if person came over, to, person one came over to channel, oh sorry, person who's using A came over to channel one and they needed to hear more of what's going on in one, they go to their group level and turn it up. They can go to a maximum of 20 dB decibels and then to a negative infinity or just off. You don't need any EQ, and you don't really want to pan it to... I mean, you can pan it later, but right now we're just going to keep it straight. So, let's edit and assign these. So, we're going to tap edit. You also get control over your level in here. You can turn up the level for 1 to positive 20 dB, or to all the way down to off. So, that makes it universal for both, that level 1 will just be off. But right now, we're going to keep it at zero decibels. The reason we're gonna keep it at zero decibels, you as an individual may wanna turn up more of your channel. Like let's say, the singers are probably gonna be seven channels. I'll be here 12, someone here, soprano, soprano, alto, alto, tenor, tenor, and maybe another, and, and then an extra person as well. Um, and then the drums would be on one, the tracks would be on two. I'll put the cues and the click on three, and the keys on four. So singers five through 12, drums on one, track on there, cues and click, keys on here. So what that will look like for us, because the drums are actually gonna be boxes, channels one through eight. So let me show you how that looks. So I'm gonna edit and assign. I'm gonna smooth the little mouse over. Uh oh, I gotta hit assign first. Move the little mouse over, click that. And that turns on channel two, click three, channel three, click four, channel four, click five, channel five, click six, click seven, click eight. Because one through eight is really drums, kick drum, snare drum, hi-hat, tom, 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 overhead, overhead. All right? That's what it will be at Greater Mount Zion. And all that will be assigned to group one. Group one has channels one through eight. What is a channel? A channel is every one of the microphones. So for right now, for our demonstration purposes, I just put on there from one through eight, but I'm gonna show you what I mean by in terms of sound coming through. So this in-ear monitor is gonna give some audio 
from channel four because channel four is my computer and I got the computer just playing audio right now. So I'm gonna come out of this one, go to my channel. So right now you see it's getting levels too. I'm gonna turn that all the way. Actually, let's just go to, go to four and show you what I'm talking about. So four doesn't have anything assigned right now. So I wanna assign it and I wanna get that channel four that's beeping it has that red sign and it means it's getting audio. I'm gonna send it to channel four and click yes. And then for my A monitor, because it's turned down so low, I'm gonna turn that knob. And right now you hear there's audio coming into the in-ear. So if I deselect four and move away from it, no audio. So in order to get that channel into group four, I get on there, I get to this and select and edit, and I just push the button in. And that selects it, and that's on that channel. All right, so, and then you'll hit, click off the sign. And now for group four, if you want to turn up group four, see how group four for person A is really peaking. That's red means peaking. That's probably blowing their eardrums out. And B, I'm gonna take it all the way out. So group person B doesn't want to hear it at all. Person A has got it way too loud so they can turn it down some. And they're only turning down that individual channel. But that yellow is a lot of power too. So I personally would probably turn it down to So you can still hear it, but it's just not as powerful. Let me give you another demonstration of that. So I've got another, I've got a wireless microphone here. And I'm gonna put this on channel five because it's plugged into channel five. It's powered on. So I'm gonna select group five. I'm gonna select edit. And I'm gonna assign. And right now it's on. And as I tap it, you see how each time I tap it, it's picking up that red little light. So that means that I can put this microphone channel five, I'm gonna put it in group five by going to that square, hitting select, and it turns blue. And then once I'm done assigning it, I can turn off the sign. And now I hear both of them, right? Cause I hear, I hear four still. And five is in here as well. But if I wanted to hear more of five, I could select five and for person A, I'm gonna turn five's level up. So that now I hear five really loud. Let's take B doesn't want to hear five at all. So this person A is able to hear five really well. So they go to five and they're turning it up. And again, five will be a vocalist. Five through 12 will be vocalists. So if you're five and you want to hear person eight and person 10, you know, you go to person eight and you turn their level up for yourself. All right, and you get it to a level where you want to be. If you want to hear person 10, you get their level where you want that to be. All right. And as you see, you're still hearing four. So let's say I didn't want to hear four at all. No sound coming through the in-ear. Turn it up. And let's say we want to turn channel four's whole global volume up because we need just more of it.
And right now that's blaring and blasting. So again, we keep them all at unity gain, which is zero dB. And that's how this works. Again, you turn down at level. So you don't, and if you see red, heck, if you see yellow, you're probably getting too much in your in-ears. But, so let's go through looking at what your assignments are going to be. Um, again, just for demonstration purposes, just so we get a full understanding, I'm going to plug in one more. And let's just find this on three. We're going to edit. We're on group three. We're going to assign. And I'm tapping. And look at that. Tap comes up for a different channel on this other mic. This is the nine wireless mic. It comes up as channel six. I'm going to move over to six. Yeah, there's that channel. So I can assign that by pushing in this button. Just pushing it in. And now six is on channel three. So turn off my sign. Now we're still here four. But we can also see that we're getting signal from three. And I say we want more three. There you go. I'm putting it back to zero dB just to make it nice and safe. So now let me show you again what it's going to look like on the routings. So for our purposes, Group one is going to be drums. So I'm going to edit that and assign it. Now, if you notice, those other two channels, and I'm shocked about that. I didn't know this, but those others didn't get assigned to this. Here's four, five, and six. That's going to be the first eight channels on the mixer. They're all going to be in group one. So now I'm going to go to group two. Group two is going to be channels nine and 10. What nine and 10 on the mixer are the click, the actual music for the tracks. And then I'm going to group three. That's going to be the cues. By cues is like intro two, three, four. And 12 will be drums. And that's just really for Franklin's purposes for drummer for the drummer's purposes. So four, I'll make that be all the instruments like piano and organ. So 13, 14, 15, and 16. And then, uh, I better mix, uh, you know what? I'm gonna make one of these be a soloist mic. So five will be the soloist. And from now on, soloist is going to be number 24. So the wireless soloist will be 24. So that's going to be channel five. And then six is going to be one of the vocalists. Seven is going to be one of the vocalists. Eight is going to be one of the vocalists. Nine is going to be one of the vocalists. Ten is going to be one of the vocalists. 11 is going to be one of the vocalists, and 12 will be me, and then that will be the assignments. So you'll have it as, I don't even know if we can label these or not, I probably can, I'll find it out later, but take off the assignment. 12 will be there. Oh, I also got a mic in. So sometimes you may be getting mic uh this actual thing has a physical mic on it. So when I rub my finger over where this mic port is, it's getting audio. So I'm going to turn that mic completely off. So you see that's the mic in the back. So I'm going to do zero for here and zero for there. So you shouldn't be picking up any room noise. And I wonder, can I even edit that? No, nope, can't edit it, so 
just turned it completely off. Check one, two. Oh, that's still me being picked up on this microphone here too. So, um, aux in, you could plug in something to here and get that in your signal as well. But again, we don't really need that for our purposes. Tequila is always asking about reverb. You can set reverb on these things. Again, don't need it for our purposes, but <laughs> compression at low height. I mean, it's, it's a lot of stuff you can do with these things. Pretty, pretty robust uh, monitoring for any ears. So again, drums, tracks, clicks and cues, keys, soloist, vocalist, 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 Sam. And again, person B, um, when you hit that mix B, you can turn on their EQ. You can limit to how loud it'll get. You know, it's right now at negative 30 dB, but you know, let's say you're hard of hearing, you can turn your power up to whatever you want it to be. You know, I, again, for safety purposes, I'd probably keep it down at 30 to protect your hearing. But if it's, if your in-ear is not getting as solid of as a fit in your ear, and you're still hearing the room, and you want to tune the room out, you tap on mix B, let it go blue, then turn up your level. You know, make it to where, wherever it is that you just only hear the music or only hear what you want to hear. Um, now my group, Let's see, I forgot how this works. Uh, my group is when, okay, to assign my group, press the group button while holding, what does it say? While holding mix button. Oh, okay, so let's say that is, that's you, right? So let's say I'm 12 and I'm person B. So you select, hold my mix and then press group button to be, so you're holding in the my mix button press group button to be assigned and that's going to be me for 12. And so for now, when I want to turn up my mix, that's just my voice in my own in-ear. I can turn me up separate than anybody else. We get even more power. All right. And I think that's pretty much it. Same thing can be done on the A side. You can hold the A and then select my mix and while you're holding it down it'll tell you to do that and then you press let me hold it with a different button hold it and let's say we want to hear channel three now so my mix three that's that again you can turn your individual thing up into individually higher and lower all right